So let's go ahead and this video will go and create a simple grass patches. However, we'll use a little bit more advanced techniques that will help us to create more complex plants. So we'll do this by beginning first creating in geometry. We'll go create um, hydro primitives. The grass, it's one stem or few coming out. However, it's much easy in 3D if we go and create patch of the grasses. It's easy on a system. It's much faster to populate than single uh, stem. So right here we create hydra. We'll create a forest patch and we're going to create a stem. Now let's go connect our root to the hydra. You notice it's nothing display because hydra is more distribution, not a real object. And we're connecting hydra to the stem. As soon as we're connecting, you notice right here we have a few of the stems appear. We can, of course, go inside and set the stems going up. And it's kind of very symmetrical. So let's look what we can do, how we can distribute a little bit more of them. And we can do by, for example, going and create another Hydra primitive and connecting this Hydra to another Hydra and connecting, of course, our stem to output. Now we have tons of different ones. Remember, we'll need it. Go set in this Hydra, set to 90 degrees. And now we have it kind of batch. We can do randomize some other stuff, but you notice we have one Hydra, we'll do another ones and so on. And if we need it more, we can add more and more Hydra and create more complex. However, let's have a little bit easy way to do this. So if we look right now, let's go disconnect our Hydra from this and we'll just leave it on top, not connected. So let's do this way. Now I'm going to create a stem. And I want, if I connect this stem to elements, again, it's a single. What's happening now if I want repeated? I can take this stem and create another one. Okay, right here, copy. Let's disconnect it. And if I connect these two stems together, you can see this is our main and another one going on this. So it's how we used to create plants and trees. So let's go ahead, delete this stem now. We don't need it. Okay. Select, delete it. There you go. But we also have a nice option as loops. Loops, it's allowed us to create and go over again and again. So example, let's go create a one repeater and we can connect from the root to repeater. And from the repeater, we can connect to our stem. Now it's only one appear. If we go inside the repeater and says, hey, I want to repeat this two times, we still have it only one because inside the, the plant factory, we need to know what is a loop is and when it start going back. So for this, if we go inside the loop, we can see the next node. Let's add next node and connecting from this stem to the next. So in this one we connect and you can see now we have a two of them created. So it's meaning it's going from repeater to stem, says go next, go back to repeater. Repeater says repeat twice and we have a second time, add new stem, next, and now it says it's done because we completed. We could also create another node in a loop which is called end. And end us allowed to add when it's end of the elements. It will prefer, for example, we can put flower on an end or some other ones on the end of the loop. So it's very nice to know we have this, but we don't necessarily need to use it at the second. Overall, what I want to say right here is our repeater. So let's do this way. We'll go disconnect stem. And we actually remove this. And let's say we want to take one hydra, connect here and connect to the end. So what's happening at this moment? It's a huge ball, uh, maybe tumbleweeds or other things. Because we have a hydra, we have a stem, and it's repeating all of this hydra and stem over two times. We don't necessarily want this. You remember I showed before we have this end. So we need to utilize and we need to put it end and we need to add our elements to the add our stem. So after the loop is completed, at the end, 
we can add those stamps. To connect the end, all what we need to do is take our output from the place where we want to end, connect to the end. Now we needed to disconnect our stem. Let's go just remove it for now. Oops, right here. Connect output back to the next because we need to make this loop. So right now what we said, let's adjust like this. We says it repeated this block two times and when end happen, we want to repeat our stem and look what's happening. Now we have it that this stem is going over and repeated. Of course, we can go inside the Hydra and specify, for example, we want to radius, maybe make it random. So it's different kind of looking, spread a little bit more. We can increase, decrease number of the elements there. We can also inside the repeater and says repeat three times or more. And you can see how it's already very easy, but we're creating this nice patch of the grass. And what's most important, we simplify our nodes. So instead creating multiple hydras and spread, we can just one and this will connect and create our stem. If you want to create a very complex, we can add this way. And remember, if you want to add something more, you can add additional loops and so on just for fun. Let's go do this. So we create another repeater. We'll put from the end to our repeater. Okay. We'll disconnect this. We'll take from repeater to the stem. Next, we'll go inside the loop, add next, and lock with our stem. So next in the repeater, we can just for one, put it three. And if you notice, it's take quite a bit time to render because we create a lot of, lot of polygons. So let's wait a second. And once done updating geometry, we'll see a bunch of trees with the branches on the branches on the branch. So we almost create a huge forest at this moment. And right here, you can see it's kind of look a little bit messy. So we don't necessarily need to do this. And notice it's respond very slow. Okay. Because even I have a very nice computer, but it still respond quite a bit. But we're creating this, I don't know what is it, bird nest, whatever you want to call this. But it's give you an idea what you can do, how complex we can create very fast with just few nodes. We don't need to do this. So let's go ahead and we'll just delete the, our repeater. And we'll delete next because we don't need this for our, okay. However, we have a lot of grass stamps. I don't know if we need that many. So let's go back to repeater and maybe set or in a Hydra, maybe instead let's go back to eight. So we'll just have it a little bit like this. Okay. And I think this is good patch for our grass. Now we want to work with the customizing after we decide this size is good the kind of overall general shape. So we can start maybe doing some uh, a grass look alike. So for this one, what we want to modify shape of our stem. Inside, remember we have it, when we select stem, we have it blades. And that's what we're going to do. In our segments, we're going to using blades to adjust. Before doing blades, let's work a little bit with the adjustment of the shape overall. It's meaning Let's customize our link. Currently, remember one, it's one centimeter. So if I want taller grass, which is about 10 centimeters, um, we can, it's about, maybe it still be short. Maybe we maybe want to do a one meter, it's a hundred centimeters. So we, I don't know how tall grass you want to, but let's go set 50. So this is about a link. And you know what, let me, zoom out. Oh, there you go. So I can preview. Whoa, it's very tall grass. But again, some of grass can be this tall. So it's health meter about. And you know what, let's go make different sizes. So we'll go and set maybe a random plus minus. 
let's go if we set 40 50 so let's go 30 and then we need here set a little bit less than 50 so we'll set about 30 as well so our maximum can be 60 but you can see how it's tall can go nice patch of this tall grass again if we want to do short some grass maybe about only um 10 i think maybe centimeters maybe less maybe around five centimeters on a golf course so we can make a different size actually you know what let's modify let's do this 20 and 20 so we'll just make a little bit less so it's a shorter a little bit grass again it does not necessarily spread around quite a bit to spread we need inside a hydro and a radius right now it's one centimeter so we can set about maybe six centimeters and plus minus two centimeters so we'll just spread a little bit more okay let's go back to our stem selection there you go here we spread little bit more our grass okay next um, you know what it's kind of less visible so what I'm going to do it is on a stem work a little bit on a radius so I will set one centimeter radius uh, so we can see a little bit better what's going on maybe one centimeter is too large 0 0.5 half centimeters there you go so we can preview a little bit better what's going on here and you can see some of them short some of them long okay let's turn wind on and it's take a little bit second to come calculate all of this and you can see it's move but not that much because it is flexibility is not high enough so we can go in influence on our grass and maybe pop up influence a little bit higher so again it's like updating and the moving just slightly you can see right here a little bit better on the movements okay let's go ahead turn off wind so i just want to see that movements okay on the grass um i won't, don't necessarily want the grass go straight forward i want them lean in different direction with the stems to leaning we need to go back to our hydra and work with this angle so right now it's 90 degrees it goes straight up so if we need it we need to work with our random and if you remember our first number it's a main and second it is random offset plus minus how many we want degrees so we can put it 35 degrees plus minus and you can see now it's going in all different directions all over places I don't know if we want to what we wanted but we can for example keep this way or if it's too much let's go to 15 this way will be a little bit better to spread around okay so let's go now we set angles we say height uh, let's add a little bit more um, to the stem flexibility or bending if you short grass it may be going straight but it's nice if we add a little bit flexibility to the stem itself we can do through the gravity if it's effect inside the view or we can do directly by enable local base to and we'll just do directional notice as, as default we select it's already start bending and maybe we just leave it as a default if you need more you can always play with the values so for example we can increase on a zx and increase slightly the string of effect so it will kind of getting a little bit more again remember we can do random if we do random let's go set this to 0 0.4 and we'll add this 0 0.4 as well on a random so in this case we'll have it some maybe will be even straight and some going quite a bit okay let's go back to our segment segment and in our segment we want to take link just leave it default but the radius probably a little bit too big because we're going to work with the blades at this moment so i'm going to set 0 0.1 on a radius make a little bit smaller and i'm going to enable blades notice as we enable blades 
it's already looked almost like a grass. We just need it kind of work with the shape of these blades. First number of the blades, it's how many, and we have just one, the flat. If we want to create different, we'll add more, and it will be like crisscross and other things. Our start, we want from the ground, so we'll don't touch this. Same as the end right now, we'll go straight. If we do leaves, or maybe we'll pop up, start up point higher. And you can see right here, we have a kind of opening. So if for some reason you decide to create more like in a swamp or something, you maybe want to clear the bottom. But for us, we'll go start zero. So we'll start from beginning. Okay, next, blade width. It's what will affect overall. I would like to set after size. And the reason is, it's helped me with uh, after growth and all randomization, so it will apply together. But you notice how with, uh, wide it is. So let's go take our width, and just decreasing overall. Again, remember, because we're in centimeters, the size may be a little bit too small. So we'll need to be careful. If we're creating too small, sometimes on the render, it won't see properly. By the way, let's check render this moment. I'll go click render. Let's take a few seconds. And here is what we have so far as a render. There you go. So you can see we create kind of those stems. Okay, let's go back. Now, this is a width, but if you remember on the grass stems, they're going kind of sharp on the end a little bit. So to do this, we'll need to go in our profile and we can modify here. So we can modify how much we want overall with one side, or we can modify top, bottom. So let's go ahead, take top, put it to zero. How it's going. We'll set point maybe around here, and we'll just take bottom and just bring slightly bottom down. Let's have it this topper kind of look. Um, also, I would like to switch to a little bit more softer. So let's give it a little bit more natural, softer look effect to this. Okay, let's go right here, select. And we'll just play a little bit more like this. Okay, let's go click OK. So now this is look a little bit more as a grass, we could modify a couple more things. One of them, we still have this um, on a middle, and it, I don't know if you like this middle line. If not, remember, you can always go on a radius, and we can modify the radius. What I want to do, actually, is go in a profile, and this is our higher point. If we take top of the point, go to zero, you can see how it's going flatter and go more and more and more. So I will take add here, this one, and let's bring all the way flat. So what is happening, it will be flat and a little bit more on the end. So kind of giving a little bit stem or roots. Okay, we'll go like this and click OK. Next, I want to change a little bit of the set. So if we look, it's a flat. But sometimes leaf not necessarily flat, they may have it a little bit on the middle. So in this case, we can just take middle point, bring a little bit down, and let's create this slightly shape. Again, let's just put it in the middle, a little bit up, and switch this to the softer. Okay, let's click OK, and zoom out. So you can see we already have it nicer, very simple looking grass. If you need it, you can add a little bit more kind of forward straight ones with elements. But overall, just if we need it without seeds, just a simple grass, I think that will work almost. So next, what we want to do with this clam, we want to texture. Um, but actually, you know what, maybe touch a couple more things. And let's do this in the next video.